listen to it. So beautiful. subject today. I don't know if the video I've been trying to post for the last four days finally made it to YouTube or not. So that might be back to back talking about a subject videos or not. I don't care. <laughs> I'm so miserable trying to make that stupid video go green. YouTube, you suck. I don't understand why. There's a video of me talking. If, if y'all haven't seen it, if it didn't ever post, it's on Patreon, but and even if y'all did get it, it's going to be a, dumb, a dumbed-down version. I'm going to cut out stuff that I think might be the problem. guys which for the sake of this video uh, one of them passed away one of them got really messed up and is still in the hospital that I know of and then this other one is just a random video I saw on Instagram I'm sure most of y'all saw it I don't know if I can play it or not because like, I don't know what's good or bad for YouTube anymore I'll just play it or I'll just play a glimpse of it I don't know So, the problem I'm seeing with these new guys on these new super sports is that they, without ABS, with ABS it would probably help them, but ABS is a freaking excuse for being a bad rider. <laughs> you should know how to brake rapidly without front flipping your motorcycle, and that's what I'm talking about today. So like, see this? This is a dead end, right? If I come up to it really fast, I need to be able to brake, right? See that? Almost 100 mile an hour and we were close. It still stopped before I even got to the turn because I can brake properly, right? And that's something any rider, like if you're on a bike, what, what does the bike require you to do? You have to learn the, you know, the gears and the clutch, right? You got a front brake, you got a back brake. You have to do everything manually. It's not like a car where we all just sit there and just don't give a flying F about anything and just drive, right? You actually have to learn how to ride it and ride it well. Ooh. 
And braking is the most important thing you can learn on this. Not wheelies, not going fast, learning how to stop the speed, okay? They're fast. These things are dumb fast. And you have to know how to stop all that speed. And the, the thing I've seen in these last three instances, one of these young men that passed away recently, I shared him on my story on Instagram, his name was Brian. He was, uh, they were, all the boys were flying and they all came up in a construction zone and they came up over a little blip, I'm not sure where, came up over a little bit of a hill and everybody was stopped in front of. So they all braked really hard, but he braked too hard in the front and then flipped and then his body ended up underneath a car and that's how he died, right? But the other guys who were with him didn't, right? And I, you know, they might have, he might have been the first one over the hill. I don't, I'm not versed in the situation, so don't quote me exactly how it happened. They might all just got lucky, right? And he just goofed up and went too much. But either way, they all managed to stop and he didn't because he grabbed way, way too much front brake. And too much front brake will kill you on these bikes. It's enough to flip you, just like too much throttle and too much clutch pop and first gear will flip you backwards. You can flip forwards just as easily. And if you don't experiment around and, and get the feel for your bike and learn how to stop fast, when something scary happens and you grab all the brakes, you're gonna you're just gonna eat it. That's just how it's gonna go. You you have no idea what you're doing and you're scared. When you have no like when you understand your bike and you see a situation coming at you, you can uh, push your bike to its limit, right? You know, okay, this is it. I'm gonna either run into these guys, or what I know, you know, what I know I can do on this concrete right now, stopping wise, is you know what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna hit this vehicle in front of me as slow as possible because I'm gonna be at a dead stop by the time I get to it, right? That needs to be your idea of not not I'm gonna stop, you know, regardless, and just squeeze the crap out of the brake and just think that the bike's just gonna magically slow down faster because you, you know pumped it right um so y'all guys uh, and then this young kid that got real messed up he hit like a wobble apparently this is this is all third hand knickknacks like i haven't heard anything straight from the horse's mouth or from dudes that were right there uh you know it's all whatever so i could be totally wrong but as far as i know he hit like a bump and and got like a wobble or whatever right and then grabbed a ton of front brake just trying to slow down and ended up throwing himself over and almost almost bled out because the somehow he managed to slice his throat open by the bike running up on him almost bled out just because he just had a little wobble as far as i know <laughs> he jumped it as far as i know right caught like a like was gonna wipe out maybe but grabbed all the front brake and that made it worse uh, so anyway if you're gonna ride these super sports right hey look a beamer beamer brah beamer brah if you're gonna ride these super sport bikes, you need to know how to ride it. You can't just buy it and then go to the meets and then go fast down the highway and brake like a little girl. Just. Oh, I stopped so fast. You gotta learn to do it like a man. You got to learn how to stop. Panic stopping, I guess is what you'd call it. You gotta learn how to run up on a situation, or really just anything, and then just stop really fast. And it'll save your life. It'll keep you from crashing, all kinds of things. If you don't know how much of this you can pull before your bike like does like a front flip, then you need to you need to address that. You need to figure it out. Whether that be rolling goofy little stoppies just for funsies, or what? This guy's smiling. Why is he smiling so much? What's up? Hello, Elliot. Huh? Are you Elliot? No. no you're Chick Sabra, aren't you? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> What's up, dude? Hey, that happens to the best of us. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't find a new draw. Why? Nice to run into you finally. Oh yeah, that's a cool little bike you got there. What is that? Well, let's go. 650. Huh? Oh, that's cool. Is it new? Yeah. Huh. Oh, you're quite the celebrity. That's cool. I can't believe it's you. <laughs> I, I mess around here every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> Just random Fort Worth streets. Yeah. I'm making a video right now. Say what's up. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice guy. Oh, got the green light. I'm 
mean the yellow arrow. Skirt. Whoa! Big bump. Anyway guys, so go to a nice sticky surface, be a nice asphalt or nice concrete that's not powdery, right? Don't go like to the slick downtown, like I'm about to go to Main Main Street, right, that goes through Fort Worth, and that asphalt road in particular is just slick. So like, I, I, like you slide on it, I slide on it in wheelies sometimes on my throttle, but like, see this, this is newish asphalt, you're gonna be able to, like literally roll stoppies and stuff, like it's gonna grab super hard with very little effort. So practice on a street like that, just going the normal speed and then braking really hard and what you want what you're trying to feel out is your back tire and your back end getting light if you start wiggling that means your back end is on the tiptoe edge right and all your weight should be forward on these bars right holding this bike still because you want it to stop dead plant still back brake literally probably don't even need to touch it and in emergency braking you really don't need to touch the back brake you just need to lean forward <laughs> <laughs> like that don't <laughs> don't grab too much front brake or you'll do that I should have known that was gonna be slick given all these little spots in this sand and stuff over here but anyway yeah so go down nice street not the one that's all dusty and dirty like this so that when you actually squeeze your brake hard it's gonna stop and then keep all your weight forward on the on the front of the bike so it, it gets the most most weight and most traction being planted forward. Same with like learning stoppies, it's the same concept where the idea is to get the front end up as fast as possible. You throw a lot of weight forward and then hop a little. Kind of like a little bump. Not that I'm that good at rolling stoppies, but I mean I can roll baby stoppies and not eat it. But that, that's what I want your brands to be doing. Don't don't buy these super sports and then to go fast and just be a squid and have no earthly idea how to stop fast. You need to learn to be able to stop fast. So go and practice. <laughs> Riding is an art. There's a lot to it. And they go really fast and you need to learn how to stop them really fast because they'll stop really fast if you know how to do it but if you get in a situation where there's an accident or somebody wipes out in front of you or car pulls out in front of you you need to be able to slow your momentum down as fast as possible even if you're going to run into somebody you need to be able to slow that momentum down so that if you whenever you do hit them you're hitting them at a way lower speed than what you would have otherwise it's a mohawk brand killing it with the mohawk killer mohawk killer i might have to flick a clutch a little bit my tires are hot so they might stink yeah see that super slick this road is just super slick especially on these bricks Although I got a really nice tires, so clearly they're trying to grab, but still, uh, you know, your brands might not be running these Pilot Power 5s 2CT, which by the way is one of the greatest tires you can run is the Pilot Power 5s 2CT. Although some people will fight with me on that saying the Diablos, the Pirelli Diablos, like three, three somethings, I don't know. It's like between these, these tires and the Pirellis, Diablos be the best street tires because they're just sticky and they last but anyway uh yeah so braking guys please 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 practice your braking understand that you can't grab all the front brake you just can't even in a panic situation you can't do it because you're going to get more hurt than what you would if you didn't right uh because having the bike flip over and land on you like it did this this kid up here uh, we might even go to the street where it happened there's a bug under my visor get out hopefully the wind blew him out anyway uh you know slice your throat open and bleed out almost like that's crazy and it all has to do with that it's a very small thing to learn so anyway i guess i guess that's it brands i mean i just really 
I'm tired of seeing these guys getting tore up. Anyway, so in closing, practice braking, Braus. Compress your brakes till you feel your your back end of your bike get a little bit light, right? Where it starts to kind of want to weave a little bit because it'll be tiptoeing on the rear tire. And that's when you know you're at your limit. Past that, the front end, it's going to come up, right? So run up on stuff kind of swiftly at low speeds, you know. Let's do like a 40 mile an hour, 30 mile an hour like run up and then brake really hard. But don't be doing no endos practicing your braking. Just baby into it so that you learn it, right? And then when something bad is going down in front of you, you don't just grab a bunch of brake and end up doing a bunch of flips. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Love you, bros. Later, bros. Be safe, bros. Practice breaking, bros. Okay, breaking, bro out.